Hi, my name is AJ Martinson. I am the writer and director of Redfish Bluefish, a Cold War spy thriller, and the founder of Section 3 Films. So there are two parallel stories in Redfish Bluefish. One takes place in America. It follows Arthur Blackmark. Arthur Blackmark is a military industrialist. He works for himself. He consults for the CIA Department of Defense. Remember, this is 1963, so these are all fledgling organizations at this point. And uh, throughout the course of the film, this crisis arises, which pushes Khrushchev and Kennedy to the very brink of nuclear war. As was very common back then, this is only one year after the Cuban Missile Crisis. and. Arthur Blackmark puts it upon himself to stop this crisis, in this crisis, before it destroys the world. Every mole in the USSR is about to find out what Popolovsky's failsafe is. And when they do, Khrushchev will lock it down so fast we won't have time to blink. I want to know where Daniels is right now. At halfway across the globe, while this is happening, in the middle of Moscow, we have our two other main characters, our KGB agent, our redfish, Alexei Popolovsky, and our bluefish, Timothy Daniels, our CIA agent. Who gave you the codes, Daniels? You did. And while these three different entities are competing and fighting and battling each other, there's of course the fourth shadow entity who's pulling the strings of them all. And so we blend these two stories across the globe into one action-packed thriller. It's high stakes, high drama, high energy. We throw you into the story from the exact moment the screen starts, and we don't relent until the very end title closing credits. And the most exciting thing for me is it's not obvious. It's not on the nose. Everything is hidden in these shadows, and the audience has to kind of unravel the story with the characters as it goes. So Redfish Bluefish is a film of massive scope, massive ambition, massive scale, and massive stakes set in very few limited locations. We took cues from Alfred Hitchcock's Rear Window and Stanley Kubrick's Dr. Strangelove, and we decided to create a film that felt big, that felt epic, and put it into these small confined spaces that we had available to us that we could turn into 1963. And so that made it feasible to shoot a Cold War spy thriller on a microscopic, ultra-low, independent budget. And that's really our secret. You don't need a ton of locations to tell a really good story. In fact, if you have two or three killer locations, and you can control them, you can tell amazing and massive amounts of compelling story in a tiny, tiny space in a small amount of time. I'd like to talk for a minute about my crew. We're working with an excellent producer, Gabby Magpante. She's a graduate of LA Film School. We're working with an amazing production designer, Eric Rafael Ibarra, who has built some incredible sets for us. Our cinematographer is absolutely amazing. His name is Nicholas Matthews. He's got an incredible eye. He knows right where to put the camera, and he really knows how to capture a period piece well on film. You know, our cast is incredible. Anyone from Jeff Hatch, who will be playing Arthur Blackmark, to Corey McIntosh, who's playing Alexei Popolovsky, and Kyrie Lyman, who's playing Timothy Daniels, are three, you know, central leads. And of course, everyone else who's helping out in the cast. We have just all of these great people who are on board, eager and willing to capture and bring this vision to life. If you could take Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy and make it 10 times more interesting and a thousand times more fun, I think that's this film. In the councils of government, we must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. I really do feel like this film has a lasting impact for people who see it. And I think those qualities make it a film that's worthy of being made, worthy of being funded, and worthy of creating and worthy of my time 
Even though I wrote it, I still get to have that objective moment. And I did, where I looked at it and said, is this worth it? And the answer is resoundingly yes. You know, we are surrounded by such talent on this film. Everyone is a professional. Everyone is amazing. Everyone is doing such hard work to make this thing come to life. They're putting their passion and their energy and their careers on the line for this thing. They are really going 100% all out to make this film a success. And I am so blessed and so thankful to have everyone who's come on board this film be with me and to work with me on this journey. Because truly, I couldn't do it alone, and I couldn't do it without these people. And they really are the best of the best, and they really are amazing. You know, the first time we sat down for a table read with our cast, and the story came to life, I knew we had something. And this was a film that was going to do well. And whether well is monetarily, or in the festivals, or even just something that we can sit down at the end of the day and look at and say, job well done, you guys made a good film, I think we're there. And I think we're ready to produce, and I think it's time to make that movie in my career and in the careers of all these people who are coming on board. Everyone is so fantastic. Everyone is so excellent. I can't wait to meet you.